Hello, clever people, and welcome to my review for The Meg. So The Meg is a movie starring Jason Statham, and it is about a megalodon shark that emerges from the bottom of the Marianas Trench, who goes through through a weird gateway and starts terrorizing and attacking people on Earth. So it's just a big shark movie. It's just about a big shark against a bunch of people. And the idea of big shark movies have been played to death recently. Not really in theaters. You've only had a few sharks movies like 47 Meters Down or like The Shallows, but on like the Sci-Fi Channel, you've gotten weird movies with like sharks with three heads and sharks and tornadoes and just a lot of really, really weird things. So thankfully we have a movie that is at least a bit more serious about its subject. Uh, this movie is actually one I was kind of looking forward to just because of the trailer. I think that this was a really well done trailer. It used a really good song in it. It used Beyond the Sea by Bobby Darren that didn't really fit the tone of the movie, but it made for a really cool looking trailer. And then the rest of the movie, on the other hand, was very different from that trailer. It's weird to see how a film can make a trailer or the production studio makes a trailer for the movie and then you go and see a film and it has a completely different tone. You've had you've seen this happen a lot with movies recently and unfortunately The Meg is another example of this. The Meg, in all honesty, is just way too self-serious for its own good. It takes itself, not like it's an Academy Award winner, I mean I know it knows that it's dumb and that it's stupid and that people only really went in to see a giant shark, but unfortunately it doesn't really deliver on those promises. It takes itself really seriously for absolutely no reason. The movie isn't spectacular, it's just, it's okay. And I wanted just something that was a lot of really, really dumb fun, and that's not really what this movie went for. It was very serious, the pace wasn't really fast, it was honestly kind of slow, and the shark deaths felt really neutered, honestly. The movie has a PG-13 rating, and usually I don't care about ratings. If a movie is R, that's fine. If a movie is PG-13, that's fine. All I really care about is if they don't come well together, and unfortunately, that's what happened with the Meg. The plot itself and what happens in the movie lends for an R rating, but every time that they went to a shark death, they always had to cut it in such a weird way where the death was not actually shown, which made it so that the movie, you just went out really feeling that it could have benefited from an R rating. And I really usually don't feel about that way for movies. I mean, I think that a ratings are fine for the most part, especially PG-13. If a movie's PG-13 against R, and there's no real reason it has to be R, then it just doesn't need to be. This is just a rare example where an R rating really would have helped it out. The movie, really, in the end, is just kind of stale. The performances are stale. The, um, the action is stale. The shot composition is stale. The colors are stale. It's a movie that you watch... You might have a little bit of fun with it. I did have a little bit of fun, but right after it was over, I was bored of it, and I was just done with it. I will give The Meg a 4 out of 10. Alright, that concludes my review for The Meg. So, what are your thoughts on this film, or what is your favorite shark movie? Comment in the comment section below, and let me know. I'm Robert Burke, and this has been The Clever Critics. Goodbye.